Imagine finding a stack of envelopes, hidden away in a special box, correspondences between friends and loved ones. This stack of heirloom envelopes is the first one in the series, and it's in a Victorian love theme. Victorian valentines were given to friends and loved ones to uplift their spirits, or to just show that you care and that you're there for someone. This particular stack of envelopes belonged to the sweet and darling couple. They kept correspondences, Victorian valentines, cards, postcards, pictures that they would take on every Valentine's Day throughout the years in the 1900s, and they ended up having a beautiful stack of heirloom envelopes that they could look back on until their last day. Of course, the story is based on my imagination, and simply by finding real antique ephemera pieces, Victorian ephemera pieces, and making up a story in my imagination. This is the first envelope that tells the story of this darling couple, it has textiles that I've put together in different color palettes, which is something that I really loved. Instead of just doing traditional pinks and reds and magentas, I wanted to add a little bit of teal, this gorgeous blue. I've also included a little charm. This is a Victorian ephemera piece from France. The cutest photograph in the shape of a heart. They just look so happy together and I love how it's pink. So it's a silver fish and then there's a ribbon wrapped around the little fishy and then some Victorian die cuts of some flowers. I'm not sure if this was popular back then in France for perhaps Valentine's Day, but I just loved this so much. I thought it was the cutest little ephemera piece that started the story off very well. And then I found some lace from our bundles that I think matched the color of the picture really well. Here I made a lace pocket. Inside of the pocket is a letter, so it's not just pretty but it's also functional. On the little flap I made a ruffle and then in here another part of the kit it says if love had petals and then some antique ephemera. So essentially it just made the envelope and I flipped it inside out so the design was on the inside. For the second envelope I've also shared how we created this. It's that beautiful Victorian postcard that I turned into an envelope and this side I absolutely love. On the bottom I've added a ruffle and then some Victorian lace. And inside of the envelope, their story continues. A letter that was written between both of them in 1877. This is another picture of them holding flowers. A lovely antique postcard that I think matched the story very well. And that just fits nicely and safely inside of the envelope. This one is really sweet because the closure is actually this lace and the silk. You can take the sari silk off and when you open it up, you will find some ephemera pieces that she gifted to her sweetheart. A letter as well as this really sweet little postcard. I really liked the little pink ribbon at the top. This beautiful envelope was using a Victorian postcard that I scanned and altered into an envelope. I used a little tiny trim piece of some sari, some organza, as well as some of our paper lace borders. And inside, what will we find? Inside of the envelope is a picture of her mother. Her mother's birthday was on Valentine's Day, so she would always keep a special picture of her in her envelopes. So gorgeous, such a deep, beautiful red. And then, this is one of her postcards, because her mother loved doves. This is from the Rosabella's postcard pack. I thought the color palette would match perfectly here. And her picture, as well as her little postcard, is kept safely in her special envelope. This is a Victorian heart envelope that she also made. She decorated the bottom with some Victorian lace and velvet. And on the back side, there's a trio of hearts. Love is what unlocks all souls. And a special card to one I fondly love where she can write a sweet sentiment and send it to the person that she loves. And that fits perfectly in her little heart envelope. I love this open-faced version of an envelope because the back side is a pocket, but then on the front, it's an ephemera piece. It looks like a little journal card. Beautiful, but functional. This is an envelope that her sweetheart gave to her. He would always give her some flowers, beautiful laces, 
and upon opening the envelope, he would always write her a message of love. These are little heart tags that are included in the kit that you can hole punch and use them as closures. But the most important part is inside of the envelope, he would sneak in some love tokens. And love tokens is something that in the Victorian era would be used, I think, to send like sweet little sentiments or mementos. And they would quite literally be tiny little tokens that would have really sweet designs on them or sentiments. So I tried to replicate my version of little heart tokens. Of course, back then they were made with like silver <laughs> and metals, but I thought that was such a cute little thing. And I love the patina of this paper. I tea stained it so it looked even more vintage and Victorian. She would be gifted a lace every Valentine's Day, a beautiful sample of some Victorian lace that she would keep in her little lace book. And all I did was I took the papers from the kit, the Victorian love paper kit, this is from Rosabella's wallpapers. And then I also added some book pages and a piece from the wallpapered lace kit, passed it through my sewing machine on the edge. And this way they're connected together to form a little booklet. And then I just attached this gorgeous piece of Victorian lace with a little pin in the corner. It's more authentic to that time period. Since staples did not exist back then. Blue matches the blue Victorian flowers on the edge. I love this little notebook. Of course, with her love for laces, she wanted to create a sweet little envelope that was secretly a journal. And when you open up the envelope, it's a little journal inside. She created a little half heart pockets where she would keep letters and correspondences. She created also this little floating pocket and would keep the most darling Victorian die cut that her mother gifted to her. And the little floating pocket just tucks into the heart pocket. And that's how it's kept nice and safe. This is another one of Rosabella's postcards. She collects the petals that fall from her heart. Absolutely love the sentiment in this picture. It's so darling. She likes to keep it in her little pocket in the journal. So it, it looks like a journal, but it's not connected. Just a sweet little bundle of papers that we created. I used a piece of the newest wallpaper kits that are in my shop and I printed some ledger paper on the back. I just simply fold the paper to create a pocket and on the inside, in the middle of our little signature, beautiful envelope. It's the prettiest shade of pink. It's extremely delicate, but I've never seen an envelope like this. I definitely want to scan this and create these into beautiful ephemera pieces. And then on the last page, she pinned one of her favorite Victorian laces. Every Valentine's Day, she would be gifted beautiful laces to use in her artworks. She was just like us, using little laces to decorate on everything. <laughs> and then on her half heart pocket, she kept a sentiment that said, One day, you will look back and realize you were blooming all along. A little secret token of a sentiment. And all of that was safely hidden inside of her pink lace envelope to keep her laces, her journaling, and her treasures. The final piece of her heirloom envelope stack was this folder that she created using Victorian pieces that she got from her scrapbook. Inside of this little text spot of the front page of the folder was this darling postcard of a beach. And the best part is that it's in pink. It's so cute and so unique. I've never seen a beach postcard that's pinky sepia toned. As well as the postcard, she created this little pocket where she would keep very safely the beautiful Victorian calling cards that she would receive on Valentine's Day from her friends, from her loved ones. This one was particularly special because it had two little doves that represented her and her mother. This was the last calling card that her mother sent to her sweet daughter for Valentine's Day. She knew she needed to keep her mother's calling card in a special place to go in her heirloom stack of envelopes. Since she wanted to hide some of her special little valentines and laces, she thought it would be clever to simply flip her folder. An entire world of pink was hidden inside. Inside of her folder, 
she created a belly band that looked like a little angel wing where she would keep ephemera pieces that she collected from her mother's journal. Special pink note paper. This is an antique postcard from France that I've been hoarding and I think I might scan it because it's just the most beautiful shade of pink and I believe this is painted on. So somebody painted this on top of a postcard and then the penmanship in a beautiful purple fountain ink. And that is kept nice and sound in her angel belly band. And then on this magical page, she wanted to keep a little bundle of the laces that she was collecting, a letter that was written to her, and on the days when she needed a little bit of a pick-me-up, she hid a special sentiment that only she would find. May your love grow flowers. To remind her that the most important love is for herself and that it must always be blooming no matter what and that is kept nice and sound underneath her sweet little blooming angel I pass the brad through the heart tag that way it's movable and then I thought adding the sentiments on the bottom would be sweet and some lace samples never hurt anyone <laughs> what I love about this is that on the outside the color palette is blue teal and then on the inside it's a little pink parade. <laughs> I love that little surprise of changing up the color palettes unexpectedly. And for years, her Victorian love heirloom envelopes will forever be kept safe and sound. And I hope that this video was inspiring to all of you to show you the possibilities of how you can decorate an envelope and how much fun it is to imagine these beautiful stories and tell them in the best way possible through antique ephemera, beautiful imagery, and our imaginations. I will leave below the links to the envelope kit as well as the wallpapers and the papers that I use. The Victorian Love Heirloom Envelopes has been told. And now we're on to another story. I hope you guys have an incredible Valentine's Day wherever you are. And remember, the most important type of love is the love that you have for yourself. Until next time.